Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? I can finally share this with you. So excited. Stay tuned. All right guys, what we have here are four new series of bass rods from Makuma. Probably the most asked question that I've gotten all season is what's going to happen to the TCS rod now that Scott Martin is gone. Well, the answer is in this box. Let's crack her open. All right, guys, we have four different rod series here from Akuma. And again, the TCS is one of them here, the one we're going to talk about today. That's the one you guys ask about, again, all the time. Trust me, guys, I was just as worried as you guys were that that rod was going to go away when Scott Martin and Akuma parted ways. But guys, they've made it better than ever. So really, really pumped to show you guys that rod. But we do have three other series here as well. And I'm going to link some videos down below that will give you guys some more of a up close look at the rod. Again, today we're just going to focus on the TCS, but I'll talk about the other rods as I'm using them throughout the season here. But uh, this one here is the Serrano. Let's take her out real fast. This one here is a 7.3 Heavy. It's the Pitching Punching Swimbait Carolina Rig Big Worm Rod. Okay. Then we have the Seros Rod. This one here is the Finesse Football Jig Texas Rig Worm Stickbait Spinnerbait Vibrating Jig Rod. 7.3 Medium Heavy. And then these ones I'm really, really pumped about as well. This is their higher end rod. This one here is the Akuma Helios SX. This one is the spinning rod, and this one here is the 7.2 medium. It's a little finesse rod there. Love the colors on that rod as well. Very, very cool. And then of course, we have a casting as well in the SX. This one here, I believe, is a medium heavy. Probably use this one for Texas rigs or things like that, jigs. All right, now let's get into the TCS, which you guys have been dying to know. Here they are right here, guys. We got two of them. I got the Jig Worm and the Frog Swim Bait. You know, I, I always say like pretty much every rod that I use in the TCS lineup is my favorite just because I love all those rods. But these two rods here, I use a ton. I'm using for Jig Worm Rod. It's one of my go-to rods for swim jigs, frogs, buzz baits, things like that. The Frog Swim Bait Rod. I just love for Texas rig, jig, swim baits, you know, things like that. But let's go ahead and open one up here and take a look at it. All right guys, comparing the two rods, uh, first thing I want to say is it's the same blank. So you guys know I've used this rod for quite a few years now, so it's the same blank. The actions did not change on these rods. Again, same blank as before. But we do have some differences down here. Mainly the components is what's different on these rods. But if you do start here at the butt section, you'll know the original is a little bit fatter compared to the more narrow butt section here on the new version. It does have a little bit longer butt section. Both have the hook keeper here behind the main grip. As we move up to the handle here, you'll see that the original is a little more tapered compared to the new one, which is a little bit fatter. New reel seat, C40X carbon fiber skeleton reel seat, still has the exposed blank there so you can detect all those bites. As we move up to the screw down foregrip, that's the same with the original. Screws down though, and you have no exposed threads there. So again, it's very comfortable in hand. As we move up to the guides here, you'll see that they are tilted forward on the new model, which will help reduce wind knots, Fuji K concept guide frames with the Fazlite guide inserts. So really, really nice guides there. So you do have the guide and frame upgrade on the new model versus the old model. Not that I had any issues at all with the old model guides, but again, you do have upgraded guides and frames on this newer model here. If you come back down to the meat section here of the rod, you'll see that the wrap design and color is different as well from the original. The new one there has got some, some blue into it with that graphite, really, really looks nice again compared to the original there. So that's a nice touch as well. So guys, you can see the TCS rod is still here and it's better than ever. Like I said before, same blank, just upgraded components. It still has that nice soft action that we've all come to love. So guys, Akuma's definitely killing it with the new upgrades here on the TCS rod. Can't wait to try out the other rods as well. But like I said before, this rod here is you know the one that I originally fell in love with, which really turned me on you know to the Akuma brand here. So guys, definitely check them out again. I'll link them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you guys on the next one.